Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is a car boot sale haul. Everything you're about to see I found in the last month or so at car boot sales in Norfolk. And I've just counted it all up because for some reason I always remember prices that I've paid for things. So I just thought well, that was a P, that was a pound. I've counted it all up and everything you're about to see, the total is £10.60. So it cost me £10.60p for everything you're about to see, which is just amazing, isn't it? So you can find such good bargains at car boot sales. And if you've got things to sell, um, they're still on, I think. Well, they are in Norfolk till about middle of December. I know it's like, quite chilly and gets a bit cold, but they usually are on. Have a look on like the internet. The internet! Have a look on the World Wide Web um, and Google it and, <laughs> and look on Facebook pages as well to see if they're on. And I always check on the day because there's nothing worse than driving to a car boot sale and it's like, it's not there. But so it's very it's very sad that has happened before um so yeah do check about car boot sales if they're on if you're going to be selling or buying you know if you have to drive a bit of a distance but i just love them so hopefully i'll get to a few more before the year is out so i've got loads of things to show you some really nice warm clothes and jumpers and some just very cute little bits and quite a few mugs again i feel i seem to like be finding lots of mugs i do like my mugs but i'm trying to cut back but these ones well, they were 20p and just and very gorgeous but before i carry on i've said hello and and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, if you enjoy these types of videos give it a like that would be very nice but i've got to do my mug of the day before i get into the bargains and I i'm actually filming this on friday morning so i'm cutting it a bit fine today i thought no i'll be all right oh god my watch is gone it's friday i think it's the 14th of october i think that's the date and it's my watch has gone but i think it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and this is going live at two so i'm going to try not to edit this one and, and keep going and then upload it hopefully so it'll be on time but how lovely is my mug of the day look at this absolutely beautiful mug you might remember ewan getting me this from america last year so this was like a christmas present i think um and it's just so cute and the fact he brought it mr carrington who also you know who he is um and the fact he brought it all the way back from america it was so lovely of him and yeah it's just really cute so i've been using it this morning i thought oh i'm gonna do it as a mug of the day um it's got rufus on there little uh october october autumnal scene with rufus dressed up in his uh He's got a lovely check shirt on, a pair of dungarees. He's loving life, surrounded by pumpkins and squash and scissors and pears. Oh, there's some pears there. Tomatoes and lots of autumn leaves falling about the place. Love that mug. And what's it on the bottom? Certified International. Sherry Buck Baldwin. Sherry Buck Baldwin. That's a very American name, isn't it? Uh, who made who did, illustrated your mug? Cheryl. Oh, forgotten. Sherry Buck Baldwin. Um, I don't know why I did the eye, but yeah, this is my mug of the day. Oh, I've got a coffee and it's nice and warm. Um, love this. Thank you, Ewan. I love this little mug. It's so flipping cute. Um, what was I going to say? If you're wondering where Rufus is, you might be like, oh, where's he gone? Because he used to snore all the time in here. He's actually on the bed our main bed, like our, you know, my bed, um, our bed, me and Lee, or enough information about bed, um, with Bestie, so they're just having a snooze there, so yeah, you're not in here, he's like, nope, I'm in the bed, I put really nice fleecy duvet on, I say nice, it might be some people's worst, night, wor worst nightmares, but it's very cosy, so I think that's why they're in there, anyway, mug of the day, I'm gonna put that down there, I'm so cold, well, I'm not so cold, it's chilly, but it's just my nose, like, like the rest of me is fine. My nose is frozen and the end of my fingers, I'm gonna hold this for a minute longer. So if you have any tips to keep your nose warm, let me know, because you know in, in bed, when you go to bed and you're like, you're snug up, you're nice and cozy, but the nose, and you have to kind of get it under the duvet, not, you know, still enough so you can breathe, but you've got to kind of, it's, it's, it's a tricky one, isn't it? And then, yeah, there's nothing, wor nothing worse than a cold nose. Well, it's probably a lot of things worse actually, but it's just, when you're trying to get warm, it's, yeah, any tips for, you know, a nice warm nose, let me know in the comments and we can, you know, hopefully have warmer noses. I'm going to show you my bargains now because I'm, I'm babbling on about beds and noses and stuff. So I'll start off with, do you want the clothes first or do you want the bits and bobs? What do you reckon? Bits and, bits and bobs? Okay, we'll do bits and bobs first and then I'll get into the cosy clothes, which actually I can't wait to wear. I've been saving them to show you so now I can actually wear them, which is great. So I'm going to start off with this lovely jug and I did mention this in a previous car boot sale haul because I actually got this ages ago and then I put it I tidied up and then put it away 
and then couldn't find it. So I was like, oh, where did it go? You only tidy up and then you can't find things. Just, just don't tidy up. Um, so yeah, I found it in a little, um, a little thing down there and it was under something, a little like storage box thing I've got. And, uh, and I got it out, it's my Pip Studio jug. And this was £1.50 from a car boot sale in the summer. And it's so cute. So if you know Pip Studio, this is such a bargain. I was really like excited to see it. I was like, oh, so pretty. And I actually have this teapot in this color as well. So I think this would be about maybe 13 pounds new and it was one pound 50. I can't remember if I tried to haggle. Can't remember at all, but I just know it's one pound 50. I probably didn't because it's a good price. Just look at the handle though for detail. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then inside as well. I love Pip Studio things beautiful so yeah i love that one pound fifty for my pip studio jug off the day <laughs> uh jugs and mugs jugs lots of jugs and mugs today i've got another jug to show you getting my jugs out um this is, isn't this gorgeous so this was 50p so i couldn't leave it now so oh, that's so lovely and a stall i think it was hemsby on a thursday they had loads of lovely things so i got my mugs from them as well the mugs i'm going to show you they were 20p so i just when things are that cheap you just can't leave them there. But I just think this is a beautiful mug. So maybe I could see this in like TK Maxx or something. It's really pretty with little blue bells on. This has been in my room actually, just on the side in my bedroom. Uh, you might've seen it in my bedroom makeover video that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. And I'll link my recent videos down there in the description box in case you want to watch them. I think there was a, what was it last week? I can't remember, was it a charity shop haul? I don't know, I can't, I can't remember. It was something. And then before that was a bedroom makeover video. So I'll, I'll just link them down there. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but this is so pretty. Little blue bells. Love the colours, the green and the blue. And obviously the white. And on the bottom it says designed in England, Abbeydale Collection. Really pretty and brilliant for 50p. 50p. Right, so like I said, I got some gorgeous mugs from the people. They were so nice as well, like such a nice family selling their stuff for next to nothing. They just wanted to get rid of it, which is always brilliant when you're at a car boot sale, finding sellers that just want to get rid of everything because you'll get amazing bargains. Um, but yeah, look, look at this gorgeous mug. I think this is Tesco. Yeah, it is Tesco because I actually have, I think two of these. I bought one for me and one for my mum about four years ago. And I haven't got this colour, I don't think. I think I had a yellow one. I don't know what the other one was. It was slightly different, but... Um, it's just gorgeous. I love that shape with the pedestal. I think it's beautiful. And for 20p, you know, you're not going to leave that behind, are you? It's blue and red. It's really pretty, lovely details on the inside. Might be a bit dusty because I've been waiting to show you, but really pretty. And yeah, I look forward to drinking out of that. I love it. 20p, another mug of the day. And then these two, I nearly didn't get them. But then when they said they were 20p and you know, they need a home, I was like, oh, I can't leave them there. I had to get them. So I actually Googled them. I'll tell you what make it is in a second. And I think they're American, but they're worth quite a lot of money. Not that I'd, I would resell because I, I want them. And I'm not, I'm not good at reselling stuff. I'd rather just like donate it to the charity shop. And I did when I was younger sell a lot of stuff, but I just, I don't do, I don't do that. I think it's great because then people can, you know, if they're looking for this, they can, they can find it. But I love these mugs, I'm gonna keep them. So the make is Dutch Wax. Dutch Wax by Coastline Imports. And I Googled it just to see. And yeah, they were really quite expensive. So they do all different types. So I don't know, maybe they were in TK Maxx or something. Um, but I thought they were so pretty. And 20p each, I had to get them. So they're both exactly the same. Got these little flowers on. And again, really nice shape, the pedestal mug. I think maybe that family had had enough of the pedestal shape, but I still really like it. Um, I'm so good for 20p. I love you, little mugs. So they'll be in my... I'm going to have to um, get rid of some of my mugs, though. I'll have to donate them because I've got too many in the in the mug cupboard. I won't be able to get them in. Right, so I've got a couple of other bits and bobs here. A very cute candle. So this was 50p. And it's blue. It's got like a little beach seam down there sorry if you just heard my tummy grumbling a bit then so on the bottom little shells and little blue things like the bottom of the sea isn't it almost very cute the shells look real little star not starfish is it just a little 
what's that called? I don't know, a little star, um, star shell, I don't think it is, and oh, yeah, very pretty, and it's only got a small candle really, so that won't take long to burn, but I just thought I'd get that because it's very, oh, it does smell nice, yeah, just cute, and 50p is a brilliant bargain, what does it say here? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, but that's all I can tell you about this candle, and it was, yeah, 50p in this little jar thing so very sweet very sweet that little candle and then this was a pound a little body shop set which is always really handy for traveling you know when you sort of go away and you can take this with you so it was a little christmas set but i actually love the strawberry stuff in the body shop so in here um what does it say 60 milliliters of strawberry shower gel and body butter so i'm just going to open this up because it's mine it's for me just a little, a couple of little travel size things, the body butter and a little shower gel. So yeah, I do love body shop products and I love strawberry. Let's have a little sniff of it. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of that. Maybe I should just get like the perfume. Do I have a smell? Is it nice? It's lovely. And the body butter as well. Let's have a little sniff. Oh, that's really nice as well. It's slipped a bit because it's been on its side, but uh, it's fine. It still works. It smells lovely. Let's put a bit of that on my skin. Oh, it smells so good. I love body shop stuff. Right, so I'll just chuck the... Oh, no, I nearly chucked this. I'll chuck that over there. And then this was a pound. It's a little um, perfume thing. What is it? It's perfume. Eau de Toilette. I think this is from Morrison's. It's September... The make, not the make, but it just says September scent, rose bloom, and it just says floral, fruity, and fresh, 50 millilitres. Smells like a fresh, misty morning. The first deep breath you take as you inhale and exhale, beautiful, hazy light surrounds you, and you realise it doesn't get much better than this. Wow, that's a lot to live up to. So we're gonna we're gonna do the smell test. That's a really well, a beautiful paragraph so do you live up to it September I also bought some um shampoo and conditioner everything was a pound this guy was selling all this September stuff you thought it's in Morrison's and the shampoo and conditioner conditioner was dreadful so yeah but hopefully this would be better the condition you only put conditioner in your hair just felt like it didn't wasn't conditioner it just oh it's hot it wasn't good it's still in the shower I probably use it like alongside something else but no I didn't did not like it can't really go wrong with the conditioner but you could with that one right so does this live up to oh it says it on the back the first deep breath or oh, well, the same info here so let's have a scent it might be really nice actually i do like rose smells scents okay give it a waft spray it for you it's a little bit hang on you have to wait don't you okay i'll put it down put you down put you down september get rid of that Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it is nice. It's fresh. It's fruity and fresh. Life doesn't get much better than this. No, it is really nice. Um, yeah, much better than the conditioner. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's a very pretty scent, actually. I think that's very nice. Right, so what else have I got to show you? So that's all my bits and bobs from my table here. Oh, I've got one here, actually. This was 50p. A little vase. Another vase. Is that like my... Third. Oh no, jugs, jugs and a vase. <laughs> so this was 50p and I think this is, I don't know where it's from, but I got one quite similar from Home Bargains a few years ago and saw this and thought oh, that's gonna be perfect. And I, I put them, I do have another one up there on my shelf and it's got a similar, this kind of stuff on it, this like wickery stuff. So I thought for 50p, it's gonna come home with me. I also bought a hairband and a book from the same lady, but that's that's gone somewhere. Um, right, so that's all the things. <laughs> I'm now going to show you my clothes. So I'm hoping this will be a no edit one, this video. So when I watch it back, I'm going to try and make it a no edit because uh, I'm going to, I'm running out of time and I have to upload it for you for two o'clock. Right, so I've got a lot of things that were brand new, actually. Um, I think three jumpers are brand new with the tags and everything else looks in perfect condition. And I did buy one of these mermaid blanket things. And I know these were quite popular a few years ago and I didn't get one but then I saw it it was 50p and I thought oh, I'm gonna try it and if if it's a bit 
I don't know if it doesn't quite work, I think my little niece is going to love it because she likes mermaids and unicorns. So I think they can probably use it for dressing up or something. But it's just one of those blankets. You know, like the mer 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 mermaid blanket things. And then you put your legs in and then you pull this bit up and get all snuggly. So I thought I would try it because it might be, might give me a bit of extra warmth. I don't really know. Um, but the bottom is open. So I thought it was actually closed. But that's good because then you can waddle around, can't you? Because I thought actually you'd put your legs in and then you couldn't move. So you'd have to like keep getting, you know, like in and out of this blanket. But the foot bit is open. It's just got a little stitch at the bottom. Um, and then that bit's like the mermaid's tail. So have you got one of these? Are they any good? Or was it just like a, a phase and people bought them because they were quite cute? But I remember a few years ago, they were so popular and that bit, yeah, sort of goes in there. So you put your your legs in there and then you pull this up over you, don't you? So I'll see if that's nice and cosy. It was 50p and I thought I would get that. Initially, I did think, oh, my niece is gonna, or nieces would love it. So it probably will, it probably will end up going to theirs. I'll try it and then I'll send it off to them so then they can be nice and snuggly. But yeah, that was 50p. I've got two little tops here. These are 50p each as well. This lady had a load of things on the floor. I think most things here, apart from one, are from that lady and they were all 50p. So I picked up loads. But these are just really simple little sort of polar neck jumpers. So this one is white with a little sort of ribbed polar neck jumper with it's a ribbed polo neck jumper and yeah it's brand new from new look 9.99 or two for 20 two for 16 it says euros on the back there it's size 10 but it doesn't look like a really small size 10 looks like it's going to fit and this would just be nice for a layer so it'll be like a layer up with something maybe a warmer jumper um that'd be nice so i thought i would get them a little white yeah a white polo neck top and then i got exactly the same in this kind of burnt orange and this is brand new as well so she obviously bought the two for 16 and then didn't wear them so yeah size 10 as well exactly the same but such a nice autumnal color i love that and i do love a polar neck they just make me feel a bit more snuggly still got the cold nose though but every, everywhere else is quite snuggly um it's really nice isn't it i love that color and i think it kind of it suits me i feel quite nice in this kind of color so I think it's probably the tone that works. I don't know, it's just quite nice. I feel nice in this colour and it's nice and autumnal. How many times can you say the word nice? I just said it about 12 times. So 50p for that, which is brilliant value. And then over here, let me move my jug. I don't want to be breaking any jugs. Let me put, actually I'll put that there. Put you there. Um, right, so I've got this jumper here. This was 50p, a really warm, snuggly jumper and it's from primark it says small but it's it's not it's like it's a great size a great size 10 to 12 it's got this high neck that i love it's really snuggly nice big arms then it goes in and kind of goes in at the bottom as well so it should be quite flattering I slightly raise at the front and then a bit longer at the back which is nice isn't it just gray and gray and white so a good snuggly jumper perfect to chuck on and with a pair of jeans on the school run so yeah, that was 50p. I've got some sweet jumpers, but some nice ones like that. But they're getting really bobbly and a bit worn now. So I'm probably going to have to pass them on to the charity shop and see if someone else can, you know, get any wear out of them. Hopefully they can or use a, a debobbler thing. But I'm bringing stuff in. So I always have a, I normally have a charity shop bag on the go. So I just end up putting things in there. Otherwise you get a bit overwhelmed when I keep buying stuff. So I do donate a lot of things. People always say, where do you put everything? Well, I, I donate loads as well. So just in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, but that'll that'll be on its way. You'll know, probably get a few out of my cupboard. This dress was two pounds and it was from a lady. She had tons and tons of clothes. And this was the only thing I could find, but I bet on like another day she'd have so many things. And that was, I think it was Hemsby. Again, Hemsby car boot sale on a Thursday morning. And there were so many people around on her stall. So I found this one. There were some other summer dresses, but I didn't end up getting them. I think I had like only about eight pounds with me or something. So I had to had to be a bit careful with my money. So I didn't want to run out in case I saw, saw something amazing. Um, but this is size 14. It's one of those like jersey jumper dress things. So this would be great with tights and boots. And I think that'll be a good look nice on. If it is a bit, I don't know. 
sometimes I need them to go in under the bust otherwise I can look a bit like a tent so hopefully this goes in enough um, and then I'll wear it with some tights and boots but I love that it's got long sleeves as well because sometimes these dresses or these like not jumper dresses but ones like this have short sleeves and then you get cold arms but it's got nice long sleeves and it's really um quite cozy squidgy material so two pounds for that I'll show you the sorry the pattern up close it's like little flowers little black and white flowers but really nice and then I've got another autumnal jumper so this was brand new as well and this was from I think that's Peacock so £18 and it was in the sale so she got it for a fiver and I got it for a pound which I thought was really good I love this colour it's slightly brighter than this one so prefer that but I really like this as well so it's going to be nice and snuggly and warm it's it's sort of different style, so it's got a really nice um, polo neck or a cowl neck and the sleeves look nice and long and they've got some zips down the side here so it's just like a little design but they're fine that'll be quite nice with jeans and some boots uh, so I thought that was great for a pound it's size eight but it's not as you can see it's not small at all so I think that's going to be great um, so yeah that was a pound another brand new jumper and the last couple of things I really like this one. So two more jumpers from the 50p clothes lady. Um, so this is just a plain black jumper, but nice and warm. Again, a polar neck, as you can tell. I do like a polar neck, it makes me feel all snuggly. I just love a black, a plain black jumper is just brilliant, isn't it? You can just wear it with anything. And this is a really nice one. I think it's, oh no, it's not Sheen. I think the next one I'm gonna show you is Sheen. This is Boohoo Tall and what size is it? Oh, size eight, but it's not a size eight. It, um, that'll fit. That'll fit very nicely, I think. So 50p for that jumper. And then my final item in this car boot sale haul is this gorgeous. I love this colour as well. I sort of been looking for more khaki green things because I don't know. It's just I quite like these colours. I feel like I suit these colours, these these ones. So I was quite happy to see this. Um, laying down for 50p and it's really long I think this is yeah this is sheen so it's oh it's hit me in the face medium so it's khaki green polo neck jumper with the long sleeves but it's actually really long so I don't this don't know if it's meant to be a dress or just a really long jumper but this would be super warm if it covers your bum then I'll be even cozier and I've got a nice coat a nice coat um that is kind of this colour as well so I think that would be really nice on top with this poking out the bottom I think that'll be quite a nice look I love that I haven't tried it on yet I haven't tried any of this stuff on actually I've just been um yeah waiting to show you because I've been under my bed waiting for this haul but it's really nice isn't it I love that jumper jumper dress and yeah I don't think I can get away with wearing it as a dress because it might cling to my tummy and I don't I don't feel very comfortable um but they, you never know, it might not. So hmm, I'll have to try it on and see. But I think probably with some jeans or something to give myself a bit of definition. I don't know what I'm on about, but if that makes any sense. Or maybe a belt. I don't know, I'll shut up. But yeah, 50p for that. Lovely, wonderful, really warm jumper or a jumper dress. Um, Really nice, I love that. I love that colour. So that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, give it a like. And like I said at the beginning, like, like, uh, make sure you subscribe as well. And I think I've done this video and I'm not going to edit it. So I think I've um, managed to keep going and hopefully no edits and I can just upload it. And I know people like a no edit video as well. They just like it just to keep keep on rolling. Um, but I'm going to shut up and go now because I've got to get this video ready. But thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know your favourite item. I've got, I mean, I love this. This is nothing I've ever smelt before, or whatever it said. Nothing like it, I can't remember. I also love this jug. This has made me very happy. Finding that jug, it's a treasure. And I love all the clothes, so they're everything I needed is here so I don't have to go shopping for any winter jumpers I've got everything here um I just need to sort through my wardrobe and donate some and then other people can be nice and warm as well so a brilliant haul and everything like I said at the beginning cost me 10 pounds and 60p and you probably couldn't even get like well you get, get probably get one jumper for that couldn't you which is just amazing so that's why I love car boot sales you can just find 
such amazing things at bargain prices so I just yeah, love going to them but that's the end of the video I'm gonna say goodbye and have a lovely weekend so if you are on Instagram come and say hi on there I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Georgian Home which I shall link below if you want to come say hi but you might already be um following on there let me know your favorite item and I will speak to you next week so next week I'm gonna do a bit of a vlog so I might start that today actually so I've got to pick up some things that I found on Facebook Marketplace. So I might start the vlog and then do like a weekend vlog for next Friday. And I'm gonna show my wedding dresses as well. So I'm gonna um, show you my wedding dresses. I nearly stopped to edit that then. I nearly stopped because I thought I was bubbling on. So um, yeah, I might do wedding dress haul and vlog just in case you weren't interested in the wedding dresses. I'll probably do that for next week and I'll start it today. But yeah, have a lovely weekend. Happy Friday if you're watching it on a Friday. And I'll speak to you next Friday at two o'clock. But take care. Uh, sending you lots of love. Stay nice and warm. Any tips for a warm nose, pop them in the comments with your favourite item. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.